Super Mario 64 is one of the greatest and most revolutionary games of all time. If you haven't played it, you need to download a mod or buy it in 64 off of Amazon or something. I mean, it came out in 1996 and we're still finding new secrets and easter eggs. Hey, this is Wes from The Gamer, and today I'm going to be showing you some secrets from Super Mario 64 that almost nobody has been able to find. And for the last one, we need your help. Make sure to click the subscribe button and the little bell to be part of the notification squad so you'll never miss out on the new videos for The Gamer. And stick around until the end of the video to see some shoutouts too. Here are the Mario 64 secrets too hard to find. This isn't a list about finding Yoshi on top of the castle after you get 120 stars. Oh no, we're taking this video into overdrive. This first easter egg has been in plain sight for over 20 years, so we're kind of embarrassed it took so long to find it. After the first boss fight with King bob -omb, he gets defeated never to be seen again, right? Well, not quite, because he can be found as one of the lifeless black rolling balls in the pit on the first level. While well, once there were two, now there are three and by talking to one of the red bombs at the beginning of the level, they confirm it. They say, Big Bob Bomb is nothing but a big dud now, since his body is just chilling without exploding. Our next secret is hard to find, not just because of the dedication involved, but because you have to own the Japanese version of the game. So, if you grab an emulator, you might be able to pull this one off. The English version of the game limits Mario to 999 coins, but the Japanese version gives you the option of 1,000 coins. Have you ever had that many coins? I doubt it, because the only way to get them is by playing Bowser. Coins generate every time he blows fire at you. It'll take a long time, but once you get Mario 1,000 coins, he will automatically have M25 lives. That means whenever Mario dies, it actually adds a life to his counter. With this last secret, we need your help because the jury's actually still out. In the courtyard inside the castle where Big Boo's haunt appears, there's a statue of a star in the pool. It's engraved with something, but exactly what people have been debating for years. The leading theory, which makes sense, is this. L is real, 2401 in paper M. Let's break it down. L, Luigi, is real, 2401, February 4th, 2001, in paper M. Paper Mario. Since Paper Mario came out February 5th, 2001, and Luigi was in the game, this seems to be the leading theory. But there's still speculation. There's recently been rumors online that a player in the 90s wrote to Nintendo and they actually wrote back, telling them it was just a trick that developers put in the game to screw with kids. What do you think it says? Look closely. Is there something that we missed here? Please let us know in the comments. As promised, here's some shoutouts from the video Creepy Mario Theories. Jack JK says, I rate the video 10 out of 10, stupidly funny and stupid, lol. I could have done without the second use of stupid, but I understand. Maria the Gamer Gal says, I learn more on this channel than I do in school. Thanks Maria, but at least listen to what they say in health class. I'm very unhealthy. And finally, Super Luigi Odyssey says, I give that shy guy without a face 20 out of 10 cry face, teeth face, scream face, scared face, agreed face, smile face, video over face. Well, that wraps up this video. Have you found any of these secrets yourself? Did we miss any? Please let us know down in the comments. I'll be down there talking to you too. And make sure you remember to subscribe to The Gamer. And if you want to watch another video right now, click that one. We think you're going to really like it. And as always, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter. This is Wes, and thanks for watching. Peace out, gamers.